Okay, so in the last section, we recorded some audio, and if you listen here... Run! Run! Okay, okay! Ah! Okay, now we have that last little bit there that we need to get rid of. So there's a couple different ways of getting rid of this. We can go over to our razor tool, which we get to by pressing the R button. And then if I click here, I've now separated this into two separate clips. I'm going to press my V key so that I can move this. So I can move this around. And if I wanted to get rid of it, I could just hit delete. I'm going to hit command Z to undo that. And now let me show you one other way of cutting these down. So if I were to go over to here, you can see that it goes from this type of cursor to this bracket with an arrow. If I click and drag over, you can see that I can shorten that clip to get rid of all that extra noise. All right, so now if we play this, you'll see that there's none of that audio there. But if we look here, if we look at the waveform, we can see that right in this area here, we are pinging. I think the audio is too loud. So what we need to do is basically bring the audio down in these two sections so it's not too bad. To do that, we're going to use these little lines right here. You can see one's called pan and one's called volume. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here and double click and you'll see I get a little dot. This allows me to bring the audio down. So this is the equivalent of turning the audio down over time. I can then turn the audio up if I want to by clicking again and then clicking again to bring the audio up. So you'll see that the audio actually dips down afterwards. And if I want to go even further, I can bring it down real far here to help with that. So now if we listen, Oh, oh, oh no, oh no, ah! You can see that it goes down much farther than that. You can also control the entire volume right here. So this, if I were wanting to turn this one down, I can just do that by going left or right on this track. You can also click, hit zero, and then this is what's known as pan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one person all the way over here on the left, and then the other person all the way over to the right. So now if we listen to this. Hey, hey, how's it going? Oh, it's going good. How are you? I'm doing good. You can see that each voice is panning left and right. Now this is a little bit too much. So maybe we want to bring the pan over a little bit more to like maybe 75% on both of these. So it's not so far in either side of the ear. Great. Hey, what was that? So that's a little bit more natural. So what we've gone over here is we've learned how to control the volume over time and ways to turn the left and right channel on so that you can put and place different tracks in different places left and right using panning.